Hello and welcome to the Black Mind Podcast, episode one twenty. It is. I think. Well. Hold on, I have to look through my files again. Yeah, you're gonna have to look because I wasn't here for last week's. Yeah, it's uh, one, one, two, three. So one or one, two, four. Yeah, so one, two, four. Episode one, two, four. Huzzah! Yep. For uh, episode one, two, four. Fantastic. We're 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 getting up there. We're we're, we're, we're getting we're there. making it happen. Oh yeah. Oh. Eventually, yeah. someone's gonna be like, "Hey, we want to give you money for doing this podcast," and we would be like, "Why?" No, no they won't. <laughs> no, no, they won't. We we, we wish, but we know, we know full well they'll look at us and like, "Why would we ever give you money for this?" It's uh, trash. I mean, yeah. I mean, if out of all the podcasts you could possibly be listening to, thank you for listening to us. But at the same time, we're trash. What? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? We're just as, just some, some as schmucks from Alberta, Canada. The, as a, as a, as, a, as, a, as they put it at the end of the, one of those movies. Why are you here? Go home. Yeah, go home. See your family. And, and speaking of like that, with the with how that was the end of Deadpool, because that was a great Deadpool end scene. They did oh. a new, they did a new uh, Deadpool trailer. We're gonna start with that. We're not gonna start with the other. We're not gonna start with the other topic because Jesus oh, yes. Christ, we are, oh, we're yeah. gonna splurge over that real really really yeah, quickly. So, yeah, let's talk about that Deadpool trailer that came out because that was um that was that very was thing. Ma- that was the thing that was a magical trailer. So I guess we could describe the gonna- trailer. Put it off now. <laughs> it was just get that uh, red there and just beat it real hard right now. Uh, just beat it. Uh. <laughs> I'm so high right now. I'm so high Whoa. as a kite right now. That's a lot of oh, cocaine. Gosh. Oh boy. She, like so, yeah. Like the trailer just starts off with Deadpool just looking like Bob Ross and just <laughs> painting a picture. And of course, I like the the funny thing is is that uh, you know he's trying to paint the picture, but he's actually making it worse. Like, well, no, he starts off like painting in like a bunch of yellow and then like he it jump cuts and to him like looking at the camera and he looks at the thing and goes, damn, I'm a good artist. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this is exactly what Deadpool's like. This yeah. is amazing. I loved every moment of that trailer because I was just like – and even like when they started actually doing like what the actual like scenes for this, uh, the movie were, where it was like the, the – where it was everybody pointing guns at the screen and all that fun jazz. Yeah. I was just like, yes. And then the fucking um, cable reference in the fucking painting and the fucking end of the, end of the thing. I was like, I'm ready for this. I'm okay for this. Yeah, it's. I, you know, I see very little wrong with this movie because it looks like they actually gave him a budget this time. Oh yeah, totally. Like, in fact, uh, out of all the movies, I would be like, you know, I force myself to go out and see in theaters because I I hate the theaters nowadays. But uh, like one of the few movies I go see is like, yeah, Deadpool was one of those movies was like, I should feel like I should go see this movie because it's like this is fucking like going back to the 80s style of movies. It's like it's R rated and it's hardcore and like, fuck you in the face. It's like, yeah, yeah. let's do this. Well, OK, OK. So I, I, I will countermend this with also the fact that I, I saw um, um, <clears throat> Thor Ragnarok in theaters and I fucking loved it. It was a great movie, by the way. I should pre pre-reference that real quick because I don't think a lot of people I don't think I made reference to that back like what two weeks a week ago or something like that I don't think I was on last week I don't remember everything's just blurring together for me right now because I'm gonna be yeah Mm -hmm. but no I just I I saw it I was just like this is a movie that you like there are some movies you have to see in in theaters because they're just fucking phenomenal like um, Thor in my opinion is actually one of those movies that I'd say yeah I know you should probably watch in theaters because it's actually like, pretty fun. It's not dumb. It's actually like it's a popcorn flick. It's, it's yeah, well, little it's, things happen in it. I was gonna say um, uh, I saw the uh, Red Letter Media review of it, and they say that you know it's you know Marvel movies know what they're doing, and they just hit them out of the park like every time. I mean, they get formulaic like pretty much at the point of like oh, you kind of know what's gonna be 
around the corner type of thing. Oh, look, here's the villain. He's such a bad guy, but he's yep. got a tragic backstory. Feel yep. bad for him. Oh, and then I like, but in this one, this one, the villain is just straight up like, yeah, no, I was just, bet- I was just betrayed by dad and I'm supposed to be the rightful ruler. And it's just fucking phenomenal. I'm just like, this is great. It's, I, I would suggest people go see it in the theaters because it's actually, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I heard people gushing about it and whatnot. And I'm like, I maybe I should see this movie. But I'm like, I'll stay at home first. <laughs> maybe I'll get it on DVD. I don't know. Yeah, right. no, I saw it in theaters. I, it's it's one of the like I, for me. I was planning to see it in theaters anyways. I had made that plan. Mm. But like I saw it in theaters with two of my friends. I was just like, this is phenomenal. I strong. I, I still strongly urge people to go see it in theaters because it's one of those movies that I I look at and I go, no, no, this is actually like fairly like respectable for what they did with the character and the way they did it. Mm. Because the last few times we've seen Thor, he's been fucking pretty fucking pathetic. It really fucking. hasn't been all that interesting. Fucking, 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 fucking? Yeah. Good. He's been like, okay, the first Thor movie, he didn't do anything. They introduced the companions who didn't do anything. The second movie, it was Thor and Loki. And I don't even remember what the plot of the second one is because no one does. How, like, like no it one fucking all that does. Good. And this one, Thor gets lo- – uh, is revealed that Loki is – um, uh, like the way Thor reveals that Loki is like acting like Odin mm-hmm. is the fact that um, he throws Mjolnir, grabs Odin, stands him in front of him, and then opens his hand behind uh, uh, Loki's head with Mjolnir flying back at him. And he's like, Mjolnir co- will come back at me no matter what. Come back to me no matter what. So if so, unless you were unless you drop the ruse, uh, you will. Uh, your your head will be splattered and all that stuff. I'm just like, yes, this is great. It's just so cocksure and stuff like that. And then like the Doctor Strange scene that fits into the movie is fucking hilarious. It's just like, oh my god. Oh, they fit in a Doctor Strange reference in there too. They know, like Doctor Str- like Benedict Cumberbatch is in the movie for like a solid five ten minutes. <laughs> Oh. Just dicking around, just dicking around with Thor. It's fucking hilarious. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I also um, heard that. Also heard in the new in the Thor Ragnarok that they could have put Beta Bill, a Beta, Beta Bill, Ray, be, yeah, Beta Ray Bill in there or something like that. Or he could was like a he could have put him in there, but they didn't or something. Yeah, Which, they didn't. I, I'm not. I'm not upset about that. At the same time, I'm. I'm just indifferent because. Yeah, because like I, I've looked into it of like who Beta who uh, Beta is, and I was like, oh, this this guy's actually pretty neat. And I was like, it's kind of too bad he didn't got like a spotlight somewhere in there. But I'm like, eh, whatever. It's like I'm sure he'll get his own movie eventually because Marvel will probably shove that out there. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the the upcoming pa- uh, Black Panther movie. I I kind of can't wait for that because I want to see how Marvel explains how. Africa got such, you know, I've looked into of like how, why there's such futuristic technology for Black Panther. And apparently it was the black people on Africa that found the special alien meteorite first before the white people. And they figured out how to use it pr- properly. And they're like, oh, now we can have flying cars and laser beams and all this shit. And it's amazing. I look, at fu- I look at the fucking Black Panther thing. And I like, here's the thing. I, I know what the, the, the reference for what, like the actual point of what the name Black Panther is supposed to mean in historical reference. It's like, a, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's a terrorist group. I hate to break it to people. It's a fucking terrorist group. <laughs> but I sit down and I look, I look at, um, uh, the Black Panther movie and I just, it's it's something that like Uganda is just a country that I just don't care about. I don't care about Black Panther because his story isn't interesting to me. It's just bland and distasteful actually. It's really like actually like if you actually like straight up look into what Black Panther is and stuff like that, it's like it's either you like it or you hate it. And I personally just don't like it. It's just a bad movie setup. 
Uh, for the I don't know. I kind of like the I like it's to me Black Panther is just kind of fitting that like it's like Batman but probably cooler. I no, I'd say Batman's cooler than fucking. Than, I don't know uh, if if you put Batman versus Black Panther in a fight, I think Black Bat- Panther might. I'd say, we- I'd say Batman I mean- by leagues. <laughs> Batman by <laughs> league because Black Panther duh, uh, here. OK, and here's my reason why. Why? Here's the really big reason why for me is Black Panther is all about aggression and emotion. Mm. He, and then- he, he is not like tactical or thought thought out or anything like that. And like, sure, he reacts really well on the fly. So does Batman. But Batman actually like, after like if it's a pre no pre planning shit like that yeah no black panther takes it all the time but like if it's like continuous engagements the first time black panther is gonna take it fucking batman every time after the first fight he just fucking wins he learns what you're doing backs off gets the gear he needs to get comes back and just stops you there's actually a reason why in one of the, in one of the in one of the like uh like super uh like um justice league movies where like a league of Ju- uh, league of evils assembled by like um one of the ancient like one of the like old old characters who's like immortal and stuff like that i can't remember his name oh he, he, um, a ba- like yeah. batman actually had built a thing of how to beat every justice league thing and in the bonus tracks it actually talks about like how you're supposed to beat like how you beat wonder woman how you beat superman how you beat uh green lantern how you beat um um, and it, like it goes just down like the stack of like people like every character in in the Justice League, and it comes to and it comes to him and uh, he he's like all these characters have have their weaknesses and then he pauses uh, entry number entry number seventeen Batman the best way to get to him and he just r- riddles off how to beat himself into a personal archive and I'm just just like yes that's what you like everything that's the reason why oh, I yeah. prefer Batman to any Marvel character because Batman gets shit. A lot of fucking – a lot of the fucking um, Marvel characters don't. Mm-hmm. Like <sighs> – I was going to say the question, but I'm like, no, the question is like DC. Yeah. Go for it. What is it? Uh, I was going to say that uh, yeah, like Batman will just – will think of every single possible loophole slash uh, strategy he can possibly think of in order to like win out a situation – if he has time for it, yeah. But yeah, like I don't know. Here's, I, for, here, here, for, here's the thing about like fighting Batman. If Batman disengages from you in any way, like you leave him alone for more than an hour. If you haven't found him in an hour, you need to either finish what your plan is asap or leave. Just leave and never come back. <laughs> Just yeah. go away. Don't come back because you have lost. <laughs> Your opportunity has been missed. Go away. <laughs> then Batman goes, where the fuck do they go? <laughs> it's like, oh, God, we lost Batman. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's like it's hilarious. Like, I know I'm I'm arguing like favorite superheroes and Batman isn't my favorite superhero, just so everyone knows that still goes to the fucking flash because the flash is fucking OP as shit. Oh yeah. But I, in fact, they even explained or for the flash anyways, of like, Oh, he, he, if he runs super fast and he can runs at like such fast, fo- uh, like velocities and shit like that, uh, he becomes he, one with the speed force. Oh yeah. Or another thing is like, wouldn't he just turn into jelly or like water because like how fast he's fucking running. And it turns out they had to, kind of like irritated uh, irritated out that, that kind of info of like oh it's magic it's it's magic Re- relax no, magic it's, <laughs> it's, it's the speed force and like I, I i okay here's the thing i love i love fucking like i love the idea of what fucking flash represents he's just the fastest man in the world da, 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 da. he goes and you're just like hey there goes the flash but at the same time, I just kind of like shrug my shoulders with fucking Flash. <laughs> he's just like he, – there, there's actually a comic where he saves a burning building. Uh, the people come. It's like now we're homeless. He goes out, reads all the books, comes back, builds the building for them, walks away uh, and leaves. And just as he's, one of the kids like, – one of the kids is like, like standing there. It's like, 
But what about my doll? And he comes back and gives her a dolly and just takes off. Like it's it it's it's um, amazing because he's actually one of the best characters in the DC universe. But at the same time, he's also one of the worst because he's just OP as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it probably helps that he's not like evil or smart. Because oh, he's <laughs> smart. No, no, he's smart. He's actually like he works for CSI. Oh, uh, right. well, okay, actually, actually, no. He, it depends on which version we go with. The one yeah. that I like is uh, Wally. Um, I think it's Wally because he's actually like he's jolly, he's cheerful, and I think he works for Star Labs. And mm. there's actually one who's a detective. There's ones who works. There's one that works for a uh, um uh, as a, a CSI age, uh, um tech. Stuff like that. He that's how he works, mm. and it depends upon who. You, like it depends upon which version. Because the original Flash, the original Flash, really was not all that impressive of a person. He was really, really bland. He was bland. He was, you know, boring. The the one thing about the Flash that I've always wondered is like, how does the Flash character game keep getting like, or the the um, superhuman ability to go really fast? Like, how does that keep getting passed on? Because I'm like, there's one all the way all the way into like uh, the fifth, like the fifties and forties, and then it keeps getting like passed on to different characters. And I'm like, is this breed or it is de- it just different it person? It depends upon the. It depends upon the which DC universe we're talking about. Because actually, like in, in some in one in some DC universes, it is actually like just passed on. It's a title that's passed on. Whereas, oh, like, yeah. Um, whereas with others, it's just, it's just surprise. You have the powers. What? And you're just like, oh, look, you've got villains. What? And these villains know where you live. Oh, fuck off. No. <laughs> oh, speaking of other superhero, here, speaking of other superheroes, um, the Incredibles um, have their first uh, teaser trailer out for the Incredibles 2. Yeah, finally. You know, I am actually excited about this. I want to see what it's going to be like. I want to see what the actual like full trailer is going to be like first. But I was going to say yeah. that the the kid Jack is going to be like the most MacGuffin of MacGuffins ever. Like he's gonna he's going to be both the problem and the savior of like what in that universe because he both, can lit- both the problem and the solution. Yeah, yeah, because he's literally has problem, all the powers. Jack is, also, Jack is the solution. <laughs> Jack, yeah, Jack is the solution because like he has laser eye beams. He can turn himself heavy. He has electricity. Has fire. It's like what can he not do? Yeah, it's gonna depend what like what happens with him. It's it's just I'm but, hoping he's just not like a MacGuffin because geez, that's the reason why. Like as much as I love Dash, like I won't lie, I love Dash as a character, but he's a fucking moron. Yeah, I mean. I do like the engineer, like the uh, oh, what was it in the first movie of uh, the Incredibles when the plane crashed into the ocean and they got shot by at, with rockets. We're dead. We're still alive, but we're dead. Yeah, exactly. And they, they was like, "Don't worry, we got a plan for this. Just make I make myself a boat, and you use your legs to get there." <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which, oh man, it's just I love, I love like, um, what fucking Incredibles was. I love the movie. It was a fantastic movie. It's one of my childhood memory ones that I would sit down and go, I'm going to watch Incredibles. I still like actually like want to sit down one night and just rewatch it because I loved it so much. But at the same time, because of studying animation, I have to sit down and just turn my brain off for it now, which just ruins the experience for me because uh, I like being able to like just watch a movie and go like that's how they do this that's how they do that and it was actually really frustrating because when i've sat down and watched the other t- uh the other night when it was on tv about mm-hmm. what the incredibles i was just like it's really cool but and i just sat there and i just like looked at the screen and i was like i hate myself for going to school for animation it's ruined it, it hasn't ruined movies for me but it's made movies really hard for me to enjoy sometimes mm-hmm yeah, I mean, for me, I can. Like, it's weird for me when I usually see movies. Like, I can typically turn off my brain and just, you know, go into the movie and be like, just and just watch it. But there is a, a rare few that I'd be, just be raging with, the, raging pissed off because it'd be like, I can't believe I spent mo- money on this garbage. And I think what was the last movie I, I was like that? It was one of the Transformers. Like, 
There's nothing inherently wrong with the movie. It was just, Boy. wow, they they went with it with this character, and wow, they really want to show off this character's ass in that way, and it's like, god damn it. Michael Bay really is not like okay, here's the thing. I remember like Michael Bay back when he wasn't like this guy who just did nothing but ass shot camera angles and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I remember when he was actually like a really, really good director. Like way back when he did the rock and like his early stuff, back when he wasn't like super famous. He didn't know what the difference between special effects and fucking story is. Yep. Yeah. It's actually really hard for me to sit down and watch a Michael Bay movie now because it's nothing but spe- special effects. I actually can't watch the Transformer movies anymore because I look at them and I just go, I, I'm going to rip that 3D model apart in my head while I watch this. Because I can't – because Transformers is a movie that has a lot of spectacle to it. And like it's not that, – that's not a bad thing. That really isn't a bad thing. I'm not griping on the movies for having like lots of special effects. But if you're going to make the movie with just a fuck ton of special effects, I'm just going to rip it apart. That's the reason why when I watched Rogue One, I watched the battle scene with just open eyes, just loved every minute of it. And then I went back a second time in the theater and watched it analytically because I could actually like – for that, I could actually separate my universes now. I couldn't do it for the fucking first one that came out, fucking Force Awakens. Holy shit. Because I just couldn't. I I was at school. Uh, we were in school when it came out, and I watched it, and I was just like, I can't turn my mind off. It's really fucking bugging me. Because there were small things that bugged me about that movie, and it was really frustrating because I'm like, mm. it's a, it wasn't a bad movie. It's just I'm like, analytics. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> You're just too smart. You're just too smart. You just can't turn it off. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, speak about being too smart. Uh, apparently, um, Pokemon game is out. The oh, new, yeah. We're going to talk about this. Oh, yeah. Uh, the new uh, Alt, Alt Moon and Alt Sun. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, although the, the funny thing is, as we we're talking about other topics, I was kind of just slowly picking over what name I want to call my character. And th- <laughs> Are you st- like only just starting? I haven't really cracked it open because, again, I've been playing another Pokemon game and it's been silver. And I've been slowly churning through that because the only time I seem to have the only time I have t- enough time to play it would be at work. And I do little to no work at work because it's winter. So I'm like, oh, good. I could just play Pokemon Silver and just tr- slowly turn away at that. Uh, and yeah, so Sun and Moon, I just, you know, I haven't turned on until now, actually. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, I, I've started it. I've got my first Pokemon. It's nowhere near as cinematic like how before you get your first Pokemon as it was in the other game where it like took forever for you to get your first Pokemon. I was just like, man, Pokemon, I love you. And I know this is just you showing off the fucking how capable this hardware is and how great this game is. But fuck, just let me have my Pokemon. Yeah. Although the one thing I did notice is that this game started up pretty smoothly. Like it didn't have any hitches or anything compared to the. Uh... I have a f- like, I, I'm not going to lie as much as I like um pokemon i just get the feeling that it's just gonna be fucking pokemon sun and moon again sun and moon 2 yes sun and moon 2 and that's not a bad thing if it's done well but i get a feeling that it's not gonna be done well and i'm just a little worried Mm Hmm. well i know for certain that they've did add a bunch of new things to the game for at least I've heard they've the... added new ter- I've heard they've added new trainer types I've heard they added new like like I, I've heard a lot of like again it's the thing is I've seen the end game content I love the look of the end game content I want to play power through this game to get to the end game content yeah yeah but that that's what worries me is I know that I've seen the end game content and I've just like thought about that process to myself I'm like ooh that's not a good feeling for me yeah it's uh I don't know. It's like, I think the if they fix, I was going to say, if I'm not sure if they fixed up the pacing at all, uh, but... Uh, yeah, that was a real big problem with the fucking first. Sunday. Yeah, like, that was my problem, too, is, uh, like, at the beginning of the game, it was like, man, this is slow as shit, and I think the only game that I felt like it, the pacing was spot on, I think it was X and Y. 
since that uh, game. I'd say X and Y and Oras. Yeah, that one's pretty good too. They, they they were solid in those two games. I will also argue that um the game the uh game state the the pacing for gold and silver was good too. Mm-hmm. The um yeah, I think gold well I think the only thing I hated about gold and silver was from the get go. Uh, you get your Pokemon, but it took you forever to get your Pokeballs. Like it just took like a little too long. That was the only problem, and I had no, I had no gripes about that because even as a kid, when you first, because you, when you get your first broke Pokeballs, you just go, that first town that you're in. When you get your Pokeballs, that first town you're in is also the town that has the gym, the first gym, which was really satisfying because you're like, hey, that's the gym leader over there. Yeah, or as if anything, you go to the door and it's like we're closed, and it's like the big, big secret reveal. Oh, <laughs> big, um, uh, like a big secret reveal for that is like, oh, that last gym leader turns out was the leader of the evil gang you're fighting. Yeah, look, okay, actually, I had a huge problem with that in the fucking first game. I will like as much as I love fucking blue, red, yellow, green, whatever the fuck colors you want to call them. I had a huge problem with that because I'm like, like, so, okay. Viridian City's gym has been down all game up until this point. And you like, no one's raised an eyebrow. No one's like asked questions. Mm -hmm. And like, it actually really frustrated me when I found that out. I was like, like, how is that even a thing? Like, how does this Pokemon universe work? Like, I don't understand it. Like, don't people have insurance? Don't people have to pay rent? Don't people <laughs> don't be, don't people have to go out and buy groceries? Do the Pokemon do it? Do you just have milk tanks and drink the milk constantly? What's going on? There are questions to be asked and no one is answering them. Why is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, is, is there real life animals in this world or is there just Pokemon? Can we eat the Pokemon? What, what's going on? How how okay? How I've always looked at it for fucking Pokemon is like the they eat Pokemon, they eat Pokemon, but they are they are like they they aren't like cruel about how they eat them. Like they don't go like no, we eat them, but they are our companions at the same time. So they don't like that's the reason why you see milk tank farms. Yeah. They are milk tank farms. That's why Tauros is in a safari. That's the re- like you, you can see like it still has parallels and I, like you can tell like they have like slowpoke used to be a delicacy and it's now illegal to eat because it's just they die off so fucking quick. Da 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 da. da. And I have like no like that's how I see it. Is it's just it's really simple. Is like no no they eat. Pokemon eat Pokemon and people eat Pokemon and Pokemon eat po- people. That's mm-hmm. all you gotta look. That's all you gotta look at it as. It's just, I just, like they... I just find it funny because people who are complaining about like is there real life Pokemon or is there real life animals in Pokemon is uh, because of the anime they kind of show off like in certain scenes of like there's real life fish here. There's sometimes real life deer yeah, here. It's like what's going on here? Back in the way back in the first season. Though. That's, oh yeah, that's the difference, and that and that's oh, the reason why like I I look at the first season i go it's cool that like the first season tried to make it like really like no no this is the real world and da 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 and then you actually like sit down and you think about it like now not, if you look at the modern show now like there well, is the funny no, thing is, funny explanation no. about the, the funny explanation about that is uh you kind of look into well I, I think i saw from another youtube video was uh the it turns out like they just simply didn't have enough pokemon variety in order to fill up the scene with different, you know, oh, we wanted to have different looking Pokemon in this, but it's like, oh, but we only have like 10 to pick from if we're to be the fit in the scene perfectly. So it was like, oh, whatever, just shove it, shove in whatever you can. So it's like, OK, we're throwing real animal here. So it's like, that's yeah. why <laughs> that's why there's real animals, because it's like just didn't have enough variety back then. Yeah. And now that we do have enough variety, like and that's why a lot when I hear a lot of people complain, like, oh, look. It's like the 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 design department's getting lazy. I'm like, no, they're actually being fucking really clever about their designs now. Oh, they, always, them they fucking, always are. Uh, they always are. And the, but the, but the thing is, is like when I hear people like, oh, the original generation had the best looking Pokemon, I just immediately point to Voltorb, Grimer, Muck, um, <laughs> yeah, Geo, dude. 
Uh, it's like, like oh, you look at some of the oldest Pokemon, you're like, these really aren't all that like in- ingenious in designs. They're actually really fucking lazy. Oh yeah, the the first g- designs were literally like, uh, I don't know, an orb. A bat. Uh, how about uh, a ghost? What about ghosts? Uh, make it a stinky orb. Okay, well, uh, does it evolve? Yeah, like it turns into an evil ghost, and then it turns into an even eviler ghost with a giant tongue. I okay, whatever. <laughs> what, I what just, a, what honestly, a like you're not even you're not even wrong, and that's that's the problem too. Is it's just like you're not even wrong. <laughs> like I'm sure there's some sort of like idea or background behind those, and I think the the idea and background behind the way the characters looked back then was because. I don't know, simpler shapes, they look cuter, and also the DS screen at the, or the, not the DS, the Game Boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, if you had a DS back, if you had a DS back then, you were like, indist- like the industry would have collapsed around Nintendo. There Forget would have been it. no, no the competition. No, the government would be Nintendo. after me, because it's like, how did you get such advanced tech at, like, 92? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't even <laughs> born then. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, my mother's womb. Yeah, like so. Oh, what was I going with it? Uh, the I forget. Come on. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, like for the screen of the um, uh, for the old Pokemon, uh, for the old Pokemon Game. in the screen for the Game Boy. Uh, basically they had to like make certain setbacks to what the to the pokemon look like because it was like well we have so many pixels so half of the character's eyes are gonna be slanted and <laughs> we can't make them oval because it looks fucking weird yep yeah no and like here that's the big thing for me is like i look at pokemon i love pokemon i it's a game series that i endear it's the mo- it's the largest grossing franchise in the world because po- because star wars episode 8 hasn't come out yet that's that that, that that's just just so everyone knows but like pokemon is like the biggest grossing series like franchise in the world currently with like 56 billion dollars whereas like star wars is uh, like i think 50 some like Dang. it's still like like it's low 50s like it and like i'm like damn i did not know that and then like i sit down and i think about it it's like no that makes sense because pokemon's like you know still targeting its core audience and stuff like that but that's beside the point no um i just i'm actually like straight up just really excited for um to play like this new game like i've started up i've picked my starter which i this time i've picked litten last time i picked rowlet and i went with i love i love rowlet i really do but i'm not playing the same game with the same pokemon Ugh. i actually the funny thing is i have a living pokedex and uh the the the, 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 the couple I mean, you're one of those i'm, I'm, I'm those still assholes. missing a couple like i'm still missing the uh, the first couple of starters because or at least their evolution line because you know what by the time i finished the game i was just you know really tired of playing the game and i was milking it for all the shinies i could so i was like well i'm just gonna put this on the shelf and i'm gonna worry about this next gen and now i'm like fuck now i have to <laughs> try to complete yeah, the ones i'm like, missing hey, i'm gonna worry about it next gen and then the next game came out and then it wasn't it wasn't diamond and pearl remix and we're like well shit i guess you're doing the light living pokedex yeah though they've changed up they've changed up the scan code i'm actually excited about that the fact that they changed the scan code i'm okay with that oh they did oh, what did they change they changed they changed them depending upon which island you're on now oh okay they are they are different they are 110 percent different now no, that's that's uh, at least that's interesting. At least, if something new, like since he like just shook the bag up a bit more and be like, okay, this is randomized. It's like, okay, cool. Not not purely the same thing. Like, I don't think they have. I don't. I know for a fact. I don't think they have a uh, Quilava and stuff like that. I think they actually have different Pokemon now. And I have no problem with that. That that that's that. In my opinion, is extending the life of your game design. But mm. oh yeah, there's a QR code you're supposed to scan too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's QR code scans. No, but I mean like there's a QR code that came with uh, the new Pokemon movie that came out. Oh, is there? Yeah, I think there's an image of it floating around in our Pokemon. But uh, yeah, it's like 
uh, uh, was it a direct download for uh, Pikachu with the hat, I think, or some, some shit? Ooh, that would be cool. Too bad it's Japan exclusive. Oh, no, it's not Japan. It came out in the States, and we have a QR code. Oh, do we? Oh, oh. Yep. Oh, wait, I found Josh, it. Did uh, you, okay, Josh, post that directly to me in Discord, because I'm going to get oh, on yeah, that right Oh, yeah, it's uh, basically one of... Okay, so let me post that link into the chat here. Uh, so yeah, like, uh, oh yeah, there's another talk about the new Pokemon movie that came out. It's the Ashes story of uh, uh, how he it, got what, Pikachu. Uh, how we got Pikachu? And did you hear about the <laughs> the retcon that is this movie? Yeah, yeah, like uh, the, the one part, the one part, everyone said, yeah, it's a really good movie, but man, that part was weird. It was Pikachu speaking English to Ash. It was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Wait, Pikachu, what? That just raises more questions than answered. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding, because, okay, of course it's dubbed for each region, but like it gets to the point of like Ash just asking Pikachu the question, what, you know, oh, why... Why do you don't? Why are you so stubborn? Why you don't stay in your ball? And then Pikachu is like, <laughs> moved around to Ash, and <laughs> moved his lips and said, "I wanted to stay with you, and I don't want to be cramped in that ball." And like, and you know, some uh, other voice actor's <laughs> mouth, and it's like, why is Pikachu speaking? <laughs> why this is, is Pikachu not. It's so fucking weird. At this point, I'm I'm like at this point, this is no longer canon to me. <laughs> I, I hear this and I go, this is the, this I, is heresy. I first I first heard about it on Twitter. I'm like, it can't be that bad. And I saw the video and everyone in the crowd flipping out made the moment even better because everyone was like, I'm going to go look this. Speaking? I'm going to look this up now. I am just genuinely curious it's, it, because it's, like, holy shit, this has to be a thing. I want to see now. Yeah, because um, oh, Pikachu man. Oh my god, it's first. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> oh man. You just hear everyone in the crowd go, what? what? <laughs> it's holy shit. J Josh cannot describe the, the audience's surprise. Everyone like, was Because it's quiet. It's a tear jerking moment. It's the mo the scene where Ash and Pikachu just like are fighting Spiros and stuff like that. They've they're collapsed. They're exhausted. They're in pain. Like, they're in pain, and then Ash asks that question, it's just why won't you get in the Pokeball? And there's just dead silence, and it's just, because what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, fuck. <laughs> like, I think you heard a couple of nannies. <laughs> just, nannies? I'm, I'm actually, I'm, <laughs> uh, it's like, if, if there was in a JoJo moment, that would be the, that moment it's, right there. It's, Oh, it's 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 oh my god that makes me laugh so hard <laughs> holy shit <laughs> what? it just starts up and it's just this you know, what and, and it's like you hear what and then you hear another what and you just hear and then just what <laughs> it's just like holy crap it just rolls over the audience <laughs> it's like this realization <laughs> oh my god oh freak and, they, and you also hear what the fuck you don't hear and you hear people in the background going, no, and he's just like, holy shit. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. It's probably a good thing. Oh. I, I was kind of, that was one of the other movies I was like, oh, man, I should should feel like I should go see this in theaters. But I'm like, but I know how this goes. I don't want to see it again. So I'm like, eh. Like, I would I, like I'm not even mad that you told me about this because I went and watched it now. I'm like, holy crap, I'm crying. I'm legit crying. <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of people should watch this if they're remotely a fan of Pokemon because they'd be like, oh, you know that first moment when Pikachu met Ash? Yeah, yeah. Go watch uh, this, this clip. Is, this, <laughs> this is only like a week old. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just you know, like, all, like, oh, oh, like, if you look at like all of them in total, like you can see in like. Like there's actually like training in Japan, uh, uh, talking Pikachu explain Pokemon movie I choose. Dude, this is trending in Japan, and that's got a hundred nine uh, nine 
9k views. That's the highest thing. The next one that has a neck highest is Pokemon the movie I choose you Pikachu speaks English and the description the description all, all the description is for this all critical uh, all credit goes to the original creators I owe nothing and that was the one I watched and I'm just like crying because of it. I think holy crap. I owe nothing. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! It, it just it just kind of makes you question, like, why, why, why? I, I'm, I'm gonna link this directly to you right now, so you can like experience the joy that is this this scene. Oh yeah, like please, please link it to me again because I'll love to see it again. Because I'm like, man, like the, just the expression off of everyone just, <laughs> just realizing it's that not even expressed. Just... It's just this gasp of what? Yeah. Uh, just it's so fucking funny. And the funny thing is, the guy recording this, he saw this before. He see, yeah, <laughs> he, knew he knew this was, this was coming. Yeah, he knew so it was like, coming. <laughs> he, the that, that's, that's the reason why there's no camera shake at that point, by the way. Like, he is just stone cold, straight faced. He knows this is coming. He's holding the camera just for this reaction. They're like, oh, oh my God, I kind of want to watch this movie just to see what happens now. Like, holy crap. I just want to oh, know that hurts. I just want to know the reasoning for that. Cause it's like, do you I'm really kinda curious too? And I'm ki- I don't know if this guy speaks English. So like, so I'll find out if he speaks English. Oh yeah. yeah nope. It's it, this, it, the guy is talking English. So I will watch that after the podcast. <laughs> Because I'm like, do you really need a moment of like Pikachu oh speaking words? Jeez. Oh my god, that just that I'm tearing up just thinking about it. Holy crap! Unless unless oh. it's unless it's some sort of magical moment of like they just clicked real hard and it's like, oh, I just totally understood you. Yeah, no, I w- I could believe that. I actually can 100 percent believe that being a thing. But at the same time, I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's so bad, but at the same time, holy shit! <laughs> that's like that's like some Shaggy and Scooby moment. That's like the that's like the anime episode so of Pikachu. Why won't you get in the Pokeball? <laughs> well, I don't know, Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, freak, oh I, my I god! I want to see Shaggy oh. dressed up as the Pokemon trainer, and then Pikachu just this deformed yellow dog. <laughs> oh man just holy crap that makes me wonder again as you said why did they do that that makes me ask so many questions exactly and none of them are gonna get answered oh like, yeah i'm gonna have like i'm gonna watch the pikachu explained video i will watch that after talking pikachu explained pokemon movie i choose you oh uh, boy. it's all over the internet P- pikachu is officially speaking or talking or whatever you call it. This is the description, by the way. Pikachu can now speak English, or can he? Let's go over some of the details given to us in the movie and see if we can figure out just what happened in the climax of the Pokemon movie I Choose You that has gotten the theaters riled up all over the winter, uh, all over the world. And by the way, this is trending in Japan. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Oh my God! I'm crying because I'm just like, what? <gasps> oh boy! Well, you know, you know what else I was uh, going <gasps> over was uh, the new harmonics game that's, that's coming out. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, new harmonics. Oh, you're, you're gonna have to link that one to me because I haven't I haven't been following harmonics at all. So recently. there's a new harmonics game coming out, and it's uh, I put it in the topic list. I could probably link it in the chat as well. Did you? Because uh, I don't see it in here. Oh, hold on, it's that really. Oh yeah, you 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 put it in, but you didn't set the link to actually you know link anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to fix Bad it. Josh I was like, Bash. I couldn't fix it. Uh. But anyway, oh this yeah this mo- this game that you linked earlier I was just yeah. like I don't know how I feel about this drop I mix so drop mix basically it's a battle card game uh v- but using music what yeah why 
because Harmonix did it, and this apparently you all over again. <laughs> but don't do this. But apparently, uh, this game, like from what I've heard, it's a really awesome game. But the only uh-huh. <laughs> the only gripe I can uh, ever hear from anyone for saying uh, talking about it is like uh, because it's a battle card game, you're trying to win, and there's sometimes you get moments of like. Oh man, this music is real good right now. And then someone's like, "No, nah, I gotta win though. I, I gotta yeah. win." So it's like they play. Of course, oh, you have actually a, plays music. Yeah, yeah. It takes your Ooh. iPod and you download the app and you connect it to the freaking battle station. Oh, that sounds like just way too much fun. That sounds like I know, I know. I kind of wish way too I, good. I, I kind of wish that, that. I wonder if the, there's a USB cord sticking out of that uh, controller because I'm like. If I could hook it up to my computer, that would be fucking fantastic. And just use the RF chip uh, cards that they supply with the game to be like, yeah, let's play this game for a little bit. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, you chill. In fact, I think there's different modes in this game that you can do the um, chill out mode, which is basically, yeah, just slap down cards, make your own weird tracks and listen to them. And there's also the battle mode, which is like, yeah, you versus another opponent. You put down cards and then it will slowly layer on the music over time. Which is like, oh, yeah. that's that's pretty cool. And uh, but yeah, like some the only gripe from a lot of people is like, oh, I want to hear this part of the music like just for a little longer, but you can't because there's a constant timer going down, and the other person has to make a decision or to put mu- put the card down on the on the pad before his turn's over. So it's you know back and forth with a timer constantly ticking. So it's like, oh, yeah. put your shit down, pl- hear the music, like. Play that try to I win the game. Type of thing. I, 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 okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I feel about this game. It looks like it's fun. It looks like it's just gonna be like really cool. But at the same time, I don't know how I feel about this because it's a fucking card battle game, and I'm just like, no. Yeah, it's Stop. it's card battler using an uh, iPad, and I, I, I gotta look into see if it uses a USB cord. Because if it does, man, I, I would totally buy it. See, if, here, here's the thing. If you can hook, if you could hook up to a stereo system and shit like that, I'd be kind of more interested in. But at the same time, I don't actually think you can. I think it's just like really limited in how it's done. Yeah. And personally, personally, for me right now, I'm just, I'm kind of indifferent. It looks really cool. It does straight up, like ten out of ten. That's a solid fucking find. I'm surprised Harmonix was still like working on something. And it looks like Hasbro I mean, got the money from Hasbro apparently. Really? Whole oh, Hasbro took a fucking risk with that one. I mean, like it, I think if I got to look into like what sort of features this game had, like the board, like the game board itself has and what else you can do with it because if it just stops at just being a card game, then I'm like, ah, I kind of lost some opportunity there. Or maybe it could it can branch out into be like you can kind of make your own tracks and you can maybe kind of download them to your cell phone or something. Or maybe even like, hey, here's another audio hookup so you can hook it up to your sound system. Or, hey, not everyone has a fucking iPad or a tablet. So how about we just let you use it on a computer? Yeah. No, uh, the, the really fucking weird thing for me is the fact that when you look at this game, it looks like it requires an, not an iPod. It looks like it requires an iPad, and I just mm. iPad of some sort. So it looks like it either requires an iPad or an, something of the i system, and I'm just like, I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> Cease and desist this heresy. But I'm kind of hoping that it's like you know, ever like all the major like like phones and audio systems that they have at, available. So like. Like or, um fuck, what's it called? Um like Samsung or hell, and or hell they that could, stuff. Or they could go to their backup plan and just make this entire game just purely digital, which could still work. It could still work. It'd actually be really cool. I'd be up for it. Oh yeah, totally. I mean <laughs> like I would still like, if I could somehow get my hands on the novelty of just like this the pad, like the iPad game <laughs> with the fucking dock and everything, that'd be fucking cool, but I think that'll be too expensive at the end. Yeah, I th- I'm I'm actually worried that that this might be become that might be the problem for the game is it's just too expensive. It's gonna, it's going to be um what's a, what's that game for the PS4? No, PS3. What was it called I I Dungeon I Monster I 
uh, for something. It, I don't. I don't know. It, yeah, it's, I'm it, actually like. It was another game to go for the PS3 when it first got launched, and it was this battle card game that was kind of like. Oh, that game! Holy yeah, shit! I, I played that, that battle card old. game. Old. I played it. Yeah, I play, I had the decks. I had, had actually. I think I still have all the cards. Uh, the thing that was kind of dumb with the game, though, is that. Uh, uh, I think they stopped. Uh, like it was, they just didn't think they needed to update the game even uh, even more with more cards or anything or, or anything like that or like the the so the, the, way, the game died or just yeah the, the game just died and this is like oh because it was it was really neat how you played the game and stuff like that and it was, it was basically using the camera to scan the cards which is again neat idea because you could see it on the screen of like oh here's your VR monsters and blah 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 you can play this battle card game it's like oh that's cool but the thing that sucked though is that people can just scan these cards with a photocopier and put on a battlefield and still work and yep. <laughs> and another thing that sucked was uh, what was it it used the eye camera and the eye camera sucked beyond reason. Like no, trying, I can believe that. Entirely. Yeah, like just trying to scan cards, even though you have like the most perfectly lit room, didn't fucking work. Yeah, no. Um, the one thing that got me like actually like really surprised about like like here's the thing about fucking the ca- the, the the games where like you scan the card, you put it in the game, you got the card. Surprise, surprise! It's in the game now for you. Go nuts. The thing for me about all the all that situation is just I don't like that sounds like a bad idea in general. It just it sounds like it's a system for abuse super fucking easy. And if it's not, then I need somebody to explain it to me how it's not. Mm, yeah, sorry. like if I if I can remember <laughs> for like yeah for both like the that stupid I that I game and also drop mix harmonics game like yeah like it's 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 there's a lot of hurdles to you know get around for it like even for Magic Gathering how popular that game is the hurdle for that game is like yeah you know there's a lot of complicated interactions in that game that you you know when you're in your advanced player you they're just trying to they're really really trying to fucking streamline it now with how like the new systems like how the how they're trying to like get rid of the really really fucking over complicated fucking bullshit i mean those over the over complicated uh card trend uh like card interactions those still exist and they kind of have to exist for a reason because the just because some certain old cards just work this weird way and there's no way it's going to be reprint, reprinted so they have to put it in there uh but like, at the same time like i think they're uh just using uh they're finally getting around to just putting the game on like steam and stuff like that just so new people who are like who are kind of interested but don't want to spend tons of money right away could be like oh just play this video game we have on steam and it has all the rules and you can just uh you know play through that way and see if you like the game at all and yeah yeah oh i think it's another easy out for you know like if they get addicted through that then they actually want to play the real card game and then spend all their money on that on loot boxes i mean card yeah. packs i mean loot boxes i mean card <laughs> Actually, like, look. Okay, so here's the thing that, that really makes me really worried about. Like, okay, I'm gonna talk about fucking Battlefront Two. Just, just we're gonna have this discussion. I want to play Battlefront Two because I want to play the campaign. I don't want to play online. I don't want to do anything like that. I just want to play the campaign. That's a seventy dollar campaign that isn't even five hours. Yep, I can't justify it. I can't as much as I want to. I can't. And even with the removal of loot boxes and bullshit like that from the game, temporarily, mind you, it's temporarily been removed, which is fucking bullshit because you look back at the original fucking Battlefront 2 and you're like, this is great. It's one of the like it's one of the best Star Wars games that has ever period come out. And like I look at Star Wars Battlefront 2. That was made by fucking dice. You can see they put all this work into the fucking atmosphere and the design, and they've they've gotten so much out of the way to make sure it just looks perfect. Like it feels perfect. The sounds match. 
but it's I can't like EA fucking greedy mo- money bags bullshit that is that shit. Holy crap. The idea of fucking loot boxing fucking heroes to play is bullshit. <sighs> yep. I, I it's, you know, ever since like it's, well, there was a turning point in the industry where they start slowly going towards the loot box scenario, and it like, also okay. But at the same I time, mind, but the thing is, I don't mind loot boxes. They they can work really well, but. Yeah. How EA how EA implements them is just like it's gambling. Oh yeah, totally. In fact, it's it's even feels like it's getting to the point of like it feels like no different than those really bad uh app store games that kind of force you to wait unless you buy like coins or some shit so you can keep continuing. Yeah. Well, those and, games are designed around being like you know you're supposed to go to them like every like couple hours. Go play them for like ten minutes and then fucking log off. That's the point of those games. This is a game that you're supposed to play. That like, that's the really big thing for me is like the reason why I can't get behind it is because you look at it and you go, "This is a game you're supposed to play for like ten hours. Like people are gonna play for like 10, 15, uh, 10, 15 hours a day, and then like crash for the night." And you're putting loot boxes in it to get extra money out of them because they bought a seventy to eighty dollar experience from you that you're not delivering on. Oh, yep. I like. Uh, yep, it's a good. It's a kind of a good thing. I just kind of just stop buying AAA games because I think it's actually right around the time that I start. How, what was it when I was going to going you to say Nate, that? But then you immediately bought Pokemon. Well, the thing is, Pokemon's different. Like, no, it isn't. I yeah, it <laughs> is. Fuck off. No, it isn't. No, no fuck it you. Isn't. Fuck you. No, fuck it's, you. It really, it really isn't different. It is the it's, it is a triple A bullshit game game series that hasn't changed much over the past fifty uh what fifteen twenty five twenty years now. 20 years. No, it's been 20 years. Yeah, because the first game yeah. came out in uh, 1996. Oh, it's yeah. It's been 20 yeah. years, and, and it hasn't changed much. It's added things. And, it, and But the thing is, is the reason why I can sit down and go, I will still pay for Pokemon because Pokemon hasn't changed, and it isn't for, forcing fucking microtransactions on you. It is still a AAA game, and that's the reason why I still have faith in the industry is yeah. Pokemon and Nintendo. Yeah. Well, that's that's again. That's why I say it's different because it's under Nintendo because they are they know what they're fucking doing and they are kind of aiming towards kids in general, so they don't want to fuck themselves over. Except for EA, they are like, no, we need more money because we need our that sixth yacht. No, wait, sorry, tenth yacht. No, wait, sorry, twentieth yacht. Because like, yeah. <sighs> Just hey, just, actually, the one vow that I uh, set myself for like th- through Steam and everything else in life is like, yeah, just kind of w- wait on it because uh, for video games especially, because if you just wait on it, it just gets slowly, progressively better to a point of like, hey, this game's on sale for really cheap and has all of these patches and everything, and it's not broken as shit. And you're like, cool, I'll get it right now. But it's like, man, for the early adopters, for a lot of those, it just feels like they kind of get boned like every goddamn time. No, I agree. It, and that's the problem with like – and like I understand why like early adopters are unfortunately – you guys are the fucking lambs to the fucking to the fucking <laughs> slaughter. You guys are the fucking guys who have to go in and fucking trudge through that bullshit. Yep. And like I'm probably going to end up buying Battlefront 2 because – I skipped on the last one because it didn't have a campaign. It was nothing but multiplayer, so I really wasn't interested in playing it. But don't, this one has a single player, and I might play the multi- multiplayer for it because it's available on Peace Fucking C off the bat. Well, I don't care because I don't like Star Wars in general. Yeah, you're a punk. But yeah, but you're also a punk bitch. So nothing new there. <laughs> It's yeah. really nothing new there for you. Yeah, there's nothing I new don't about like Star that. Wars. Yes, but you're also a punk bitch, so it's nothing new for you. <laughs> I'm the most punk ass bitch ever. Don't, don't you deny that? Click, click, click. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't believe I put that into your head. God damn it. <laughs> I am not disappointed in you. I am disappointed in myself. 
<laughs> no, what r- really made me giggle about fucking Star Wars is I've watched the fucking the um the like somebody play through the campaign, and like there's a comment at the end of the campaign which is in an app ep- which is an epilogue where you play as Kylo Ren and you're trying to get information on like like the to find the map to where Star Luke uh, Luke Skywalker is. Mm-hmm. And it's done really well. It's like the entire campaign's. Yeah, it's got some problems about it, but it's still really, really well done. But I sit down and I watched um, like there's a there's a there's a single line in that thing that makes me go, oh look, we know who Ray's parents are, because it's done really well. It's done just in a quiet tone. It's done so subtly, and I just approve of it in every way possible. And it, it like. Like I'm, I'm gonna spoil this for you, J- Josh, because you really don't care. Nope. Um, it, it's the way they hint at it is that Iden Versio, the main character of the series, of this game, and the female protagonist that is this, is is Ray, Ray's mom. Like, it, like she has a kid. She has – she fucking betrays the Empire, goes through all that fucking bullshit. Spoilers for everyone, but I don't think a lot of people care because if you haven't finished the campaign at this point, it's been two days. Fuck off. This, this campaign's not long. Like I watched it today, this morning when I woke up. I watched all 10 parts. I watched all 10 missions, and it t- took me, I think, at most five hours. I don't know if he cut down some of the scenes. I don't know if he cut down some of his deaths, but at the same time, that doesn't add much more time. That maybe adds another hour if he if he did, because uh, like they are so like minuscule. It it really doesn't look like it's a really long campaign for me. But like the way that like Kylo Ren says like or one of the characters says like you thought ma- having a daughter would change your your life, ha- uh, being married, having a love life and stuff like that. It's just Holy fuck. I like it's cool for lore because there's actually like really cool scenes in it like where you blow up fucking three star destroyers with a single with two ec- with a cloud car, which is fucking hilarious because it's a fucking cloud car. It's a thing that shouldn't be blowing anything up. It's a thing that you should be getting like picked up on like like that should be fucking ferrying you from fucking point A to point B. Mm. Well, I'm just sitting here and just going twiddle my thumbs and going like, well, yep. <laughs> you, you, you do, Josh you, just you do, does, you, Josh you do, just you does not care. Yeah. And I don't blame you. Cause really like, I'm just wait on it. It gets better. This Maybe. All, that's all I say. Star Wars Battlefront, uh, the, the fucking new one, Star Wars Battlefront did not get better over time. Nope, it's it getting worse really and worse, <laughs> and then they will b- bring back the microtransactions and get worse and worse. And then, it's going to depend because, like, I don't think I think the indie st- industry is going to be very fucking tentative about fucking loot boxes I, and shit now. I think the industry is going to be super polarizing to the point of like, hey, these new indie game, you know, it still has what you want in a video game, start and finish and decent meal or you go to the, like the AAA stuff and they're going to be all the, you know, the, the the loot boxes and all that shit and then, you know, have an okay time with that, I guess. It's just it's going to be super polarizing to to the point of like you either you play indie games or you one of those people to play AAA games. No, no, yeah, no, I agree there. Like, here's the thing: is like triple AAA games can be fun. I'm gonna very tentatively say that um, they can be fun, but lately they haven't, and that's that's the problem: is they they aren't being fun; they're being patronizing and fucking disrespectful to the player base, and it's just that's not what you want to do. It's really a bad bad fucking business practice like i sat down and i fucking played fucking call of duty world war ii and there are things that piss me off in that game like they viscerally make me angry like i was wasn't even playing i was watching my dad play at one point i'm like they're like yeah we can't fucking penetrate this tank's armor from the front i'm just like the fuck are you talking about that's a panzer four yes you can because you're wearing a you're driving a fucking sherman you cock sucking motherfuckers (laughs) 
And they're like, no, no, you got to get around to the side. You got you got to shoot him in the side or in the rear. And I'm like, normally I agree with you. You don't want to fucking straight on fight to uh, one on one fight with a fucking long barreled 75 millimeter fucking panzer. But I sit down. And I just fucking watched what happened. I'm just like, how is this a thing? You're not driving fucking howitzer fucking Shermans, which still fucking blow the fuck out of that tank. You're driving fucking snub, uh, snub barrel fucking 75 millimeter guns at point fucking blank. The, every shot you take at the fucking Panzer is a kill shot at this range. Mm-hmm. There is nothing. And I'm just – I'm getting viscerally mad. I, like I was getting viscerally mad that I had to stop and like wasn't walk that the, away. Uh, wasn't that the game that uh, also had uh, black um, Nazis and female Nazis? I don't know. I can't remember. Well, the thing is, is, there were female Nazis. Like, there were. Like, there's no, there's no denying that there were. Yeah. Oh yeah, there, there's Nazis. some female Nazis. Yes, but I was like, the thing that really took me back was like some images floating around of like, yeah, this sees black guy. Yeah, it's a Nazi. And you're like, what? 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 Who? Who? who if this? it's on, if it's online, I don't agree. It's the same thing with like fucking Battlefront or uh, Battlefield fucking one. Like, it's a great game. The campaign makes no fucking sense. Oh, this American air, uh, hotshot fucking steals a plane from the fucking British Army. Dude, the fucking gunner that you fly around with in the first fucking mission would have known the minute you took off that you were not the fucking pilot he was supposed to be with. Because, like, the British Army was fucking stringent about its fucking planes. And, like, uh, I fucking... <sighs> I hate games that claim to be historical and then aren't like it actually fucking upsets me because like history is a big thing for me. That's the reason why I love like Call of Duty one, two, um, fucking even fucking uh, World at War, which mm-hmm. wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It had fucking it went to the fucking Pacific Theater, which only one other camp uh, call it uh, only one other game in the in fucking World War two shooters had ever done. And that was a Medal of Honor game fucking five years earlier i think and like like it's the reason why i can't sit down and play certain like oh it's historical and i sit down and i look at it and i go no it really isn't because they fucking because like, they, they put too much video game in my video game yeah and that's the thing is like i understand that like it's supposed to be a fucking video game i get that guys i, I, I fucking love video games but if you're gonna claim something that's historical and you're going to like you're oh well we're trying to make it a real fucking historical game like how, what this that, that was the big thing for me about fucking world of, uh world war 2 uh world war 2 or ww2 as they're fucking as it is on the boxes it was like pushed as this old fashioned fucking historical fucking game and it really fucking wasn't and i'm just like holy fucking shit it fucking makes me mad and because it, it's uh, it could have been this fantastic game that I that you look at and you go, no, this is a great game. And then you sit down, and you actually walk, play through it and you're like, this is a crap game. Mm-hmm. It actually like, OK, that's that's like the same argument for fucking like you for for honor, I think. Because I know you love for honor. Mm-hmm. You're not going to talk about it. Oh, well, sorry, you're kind of breaking up because every you're like I'm talking. I'm talking about For Honor. Like, like oh, okay. You... Um. Oh yeah. Like, well, for For Honor, like I like it because it kind of plays like into the lines of you know, uh, like a fighting game of like, okay, you have your, you can defend, you have your parries, you can block, you can have your uh, combos, you can do, you can um, you can do a grab, and that grab can do a lot of things and stuff like that. And it's like you have a lot of things at your disposal, and each character is completely different from another, and all of them could do you know very specific things. So I'm like, cool. It's kind of plays like a fighting game, and I, I enjoy that. Of course, you can take a look at that and be like, oh, this character from this timeline doesn't make any sense. And this thing that that thing doesn't make any sense. Oh, no. and- that's, that's the thing is I can suspend my disbelief for that game because it's yeah, it's it's a it's it's a what if game. It's not a historical game. It's not a game that claims to be fucking historical. Yeah. 
exactly. I, but at the same time, I do, I do, I do sit down and go like, they're they're the knights aren't dressed properly. <laughs> mm. That because they're not they, like they should be wearing chainmail and gambeson at most. But they they're wearing partial plate mail and stuff like that. And I'm like, ah, eh, well, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? And that's the thing is, I can I can suspend my disbelief for that game because mm. it, it's a what if scenario. So like. What if these timelines collided? What if these worlds actually ended up happening together? And well, like I would have actually like kind of preferred if they had done like, well, I I don't know. Like the one that would have been actually a little bit more interesting for me is if they had done like an an ancient Rome one, because there were some fucking like really cool things about ancient history, like the Hopolites versus the fucking Centurion, like the Roman legionaries. Um, the uh, Saracen light, uh, light infantry, or like the uh, Cap, uh, Cap, uh, Cap, uh, Cap uh, oh, there, there is a certain term, but like they're like huge, heavy armored infantry that are like in like sh- scale mail fucking armor that are just like walking tanks in the battlefield, and they're impossible to take. Like they were almost impossible to kill on the battlefield if you weren't careful, mm-hmm. and like. They like like there was so much variety in the ancient world about how like armies fought and stuff like that mm-hmm. with how like like the the East, like the Parthians, they used a lot of archers. They used a lot of light infantry and they had huge, heavy shock cavalry and stuff like that. Like And like it, like you have like these really cool goal, goal opportunities. I would have still loved to have seen like knights versus fucking samurai versus Vikings. It's a really cool concept. I, like, I fully approve really cool what if scenario but like i would prefer to see like if a spartan had some like like we're using like iron and like early iron like late iron weapons and stuff like that or like centurions like i wouldn't mind that that would have been really cool i would have been all for that but they like it's just kind of like really cool opportunities have been missed with like game designs but at the same time i can't exactly blame them because they're like well, what's popular timelines that gamers always seem to love? And you just hear samurai, and you hear knights, and you hear fucking Vikings. And I don't blame them because they're fun. Yeah. Or, I mean, you can, the, the only class that they probably didn't add yet into uh, For Honor uh, is pirates. And <laughs> I don't think and, we're ever going to see pirates. Yeah, like I just can't. Like I mean sky's the limit for for honor but at the same time it's like if they would still want to keep it grounded to some degree i wouldn't mind seeing like i don't know like pirate so you have that stupid ninja versus pirate fucking dumb bullshit, bullshit. Meme thing that was forever ago uh yeah. no okay i'm actually just, I'm, I'm i'm also going to talk really quickly about fucking uh deadliest word from fucking spike how the why the fuck would you pair the fucking knight against the fucking pirate with firearms that's such fucking bullshit yeah oh like I mean, the knight versus samurai would have been a good would have been a great episode but they put the samurai up against like what the fucking a fucking gladiator or something like that or they put him up against no they put him up against the centurion or no no they put the centurion against a fucking indian like ancient cultural indian warrior and stuff like that and like again same with the knight that like the knight should have been like one of the last round contenders for the ancient world and i'm just like you didn't do anything like you did no homage to what the fucking knight was yeah it was actually frustrating for me to watch at points because i was just like why <laughs> poor qua I freaking why know. is this a thing freaking i watch it one or one or two episodes of that really cringy sh- cringy ass show and it's it's like, you know, these people that they bring on the show, they're trying to be like, you know, oh, I know everything about the this tribe of Indians that have these all these battle tactics and blah, blah, blah. But then they put their theories to the test and like, these guys act like they're offended. It's like, no, you should be like, oh, fuck, I didn't think this would have worked or I thought it was totally work because I'm wrong or no, something. But it's like, no, no they're, act like guys, they're offended. No, they like, but- act really offended. I'm like, if you yeah. actually took pride in what you were fucking talking about, you would be like, huh, I never thought about that. Well, I can I can. What about this? And the throwing up but like your other possible strategies and stuff like that. It's actually something I just can't stand for fucking 
fucking deadliest warrior because it was a fucking bullshit show i yeah. watched it for the first season and then i was like i watched the fucking start of the second season where they're like oh well we're gonna put the samurai against the spartan and i'm like the spartan's gonna win because the spartan's all about fucking tight hard hitting formations and just like not giving gra and just having this huge shield and they tested on the spartan shield with a samurai sword and the samurai sword did nothing to it and i'm like and that's the spartan's win <laughs> That's yeah. how the Spartan won. Is at that point, I'm just like it. It matters nothing else. What you're gonna say? That's the if you can't get through that with your fucking mace, where like the arm, like they put a shock a shock tester on the arm to see if you broke if you could break his arm, and it did it. It's just like oh look, the um the bruise one just fucking popped. That's it. And they're like oh, and I'm like yeah, the Spartans won. <laughs> and then I watched the Spetsnaz versus the fucking. Oh, what was it? Like, they didn't do the fucking terrorist group. They didn't do fucking IRA. And by the way, that was another bullshit episode where the fucking IRA takes on the fucking Taliban. I'm like, the IRA kicked out the fucking Brit the great the British Empire. But the British Empire really wasn't there to fight. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not a bad show. I, I'm, it, it it came up with some really cool concepts. It, it, it's the reason why we have screw attack now and like and have like uh, oh, a yeah. death battle. Yeah. And, but I watched George, I watched fucking George Washington at the prime of his like abilities and stuff like that versus fucking Napoleon at his weakest, and I'm like. How is this a fair fight? If you're gonna put them, if you're gonna put one of your characters at the prime of his uh, of his fighting ability, you need to put the other one at the prime of his fighting ability. And like, man, there was so much American bias in that show too. When they like they talked about like American heroes and stuff like that. Oh yeah, totally. Like, no, no, like the, like the one that I could actually like agree, sit down and go like, no, no, he should have won. Is um is uh is Teddy Roosevelt versus fucking Lawrence of Arabia? But at the same time. I kind of sit down, I look at that fight, and I'm just like, I don't know how I feel, because you can just tell, like, they just, the Lawrence of a fucking Arabia was just fucking a brilliant um, fucking British tactician mm -hmm. that just didn't get any regard, for, didn't get, like, any, like, even, in, like, uh, well, this dissolved from a video game podcast into just, like, us rambling about things we liked and hated. <laughs> I mean, I, like, he, that, he, that, that's, I guess that's the name of the podcast. The thing I liked and the thing I hated. The thing I liked, the thing I hated, and ramble, 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 ramble. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And fucking, uh, God damn it. Just just looking at the clock now, I'm realizing, oh, yeah, I have to get up at work at like six. Yeah, early. So I think we're going to call it here, boys and girls. Um, you've been with us for the Black, Black Mind Podcast 220, uh, 123. 123. Hey, one one twenty fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one twenty four. Um, we uh, we'll see you next week. Um, we're sorry for being just like <laughs> me and Jaws and bitching about games and squealing about games and then fucking laughing at Pokemon because for what the fuck, yep. Pokemon? Yep. yep, yep. I just can't wait for my Pokemon to start speaking to me and be like, "Could you, could you not do that in this room? What do you mean?" <laughs> I, I hate it when you just masturbate in front of me. I just so annoying. Can you please not do that? <laughs> <sighs> and we, we almost got through. We were so <laughs> close. We were there. It was the end of the podcast. I was like, yes, we avoided the joke. And nope, Josh delivers on time. Ha fucking damn it. Uh, oh, join us next week as we as we hopefully get a third person back on. Thank you for joining us. My name is Alan. This has been Josh. Yep. Have a good night. Good night.